From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Joining us now is Kat with the SPCA of East Texas. And of course, you know with her comes a sweet, cute little <laughs> angel. Who is this? This is... Uh Baloo. Baloo. God. There we go. I had well, to go through all of them. But that's the name. thing. Y'all have so many right now. We I do. Mean, I, we I'm do. I'm surprised you can remember any. Yeah, he's from our Jungle Book litter, and I keep wanting to call him Mowgli, but Mowgli's all white. So oh, okay. this is Baloo. Uh, he's a nine-week-old puppy. Um, we took in his mama and these babies when they were just born. Mm -hmm. uh, they were in one of the local shelters, and we pulled them and gave them a little second chance. So mm. they are now all vetted and ready to go. And they are precious. Uh, Kat was just saying, I was in here, of course, doing the show, but she, it, Baloo was getting attention and then stopped getting attention. And then Baloo called for more attention by doing some barks in the green room. Yeah, he did a little talking. He was like, hey, where'd hey, everybody hey, go? I'm here. Uh, the puppy's here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is, is definitely a sweet little angel right here. Look at that. Loves to give kisses. He does. And he's really such a, a, a unique pattern. He's got like these black spots everywhere and then of course these parts of white but he's got like these little bitty polka dots <laughs> all over him and on his little nose too. Yeah. The mom is a boxer mix. We're pretty sure dad might have been border collie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something. I mean bo he doesn't look much boxer mix. Maybe like right here in his little nose. Maybe little. Right in his <laughs> nose. And how many is in this litter? Uh, seven. Seven. Oh my yeah, gosh. So. And it's just, it's nonstop. You guys nonstop. have That's, that's a small litter for us lately. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. So, anyway. <sighs> well, okay. Um, I do want to talk about, because Baloo's got this cute little, look at that little <laughs> USA handkerchief on, ready for the 4th of July. But the 4th of July is a pretty big topic when it comes to animals. It is. It is. And, you know, I, like, most people love shooting fireworks. Right. And that was, like, my favorite thing to do when I was a kid. And, um, since uh, I've learned what I've learned as an adult, it's not my favorite thing anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I would urge you to think about it before you go shooting fireworks. But you know, it scares not only the dogs, uh, but veterans mm -hmm. that have PTSD. Um, it scares uh, animals away from their nests, and you know they might have babies in that nest, but they get disoriented. It gives it actually gives birds heart attack. It can give a bird a heart attack oh, if they're wow. flying nearby. So you know that's one thing. The other thing is if you have an animal that is reactive to fireworks that way, today call your vet today and get them get them a little pill. You know if you're in an area where they're going to shoot fireworks, don't wait till Friday. Yeah. But you know if you go to your vet now and and give them a call and say hey you know. I have my dog, it has anxiety. They can give you a little anxiety medicine for your dogs so it's maybe a little easier on them that night. Um, and bring your, bring your pets inside. And if for some reason your dog does stay outside or your pets stay outside, make sure they're tagged. Make sure they have a microchip. Because they'll run. Because they, they can run. Yeah. And you know, we, we do see an influx of found animals right around the 4th of July and, and other firework holidays. Yeah. But 4th of July is usually a big one for us. Hey, why don't you turn around and face the camera and not me? So there you go. He's like, because you're the one giving the attention. Right. The He's camera like, isn't. He was it? listening so intently. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, we found that out the hard way for New Year's. We always lived in a place where there were no fireworks allowed in the city limits and I still don't think that they're allowed in the city limits but some people were popping some in our neighborhood for New Year's Eve and my dogs just they went ballistic they went crazy yeah, yeah so. and, if, and if that animal happens to be outside you know and uh, they can dig right out or you know they become frantic and try to find ways out and if they get out and they don't they're not tagged and they're not microchipped you may never find them you yeah. know so we you, you really that. need to look out for your little furry friends during yeah. this holiday well those are good tips right there and then also for Baloo and maybe one of his siblings if, <laughs> if Baloo isn't the one for you or any of the puppies they have at the SPCA of East so Texas many. right now <laughs> make sure to go to the website you can find out more information Thank you very much, Kat. You're welcome. Thank you. Of course.